Hey, how's it going, boys? What is up? Sora here. Um, this is uh, this video was not really intended to be made, honestly, <laughs> because uh, I was actually trying to just uh, help out like one of the random questions I tend to get like from chat and all that, and I decided like to help out, and then it's like I ended up making an entire segment of this whole thing as you can tell from just looking at the stream stream video title or the thumbnail right so i was i decided to do the whole thing i know it's a little bit long because i felt like i was for some reason i was just explaining way too much on like the first few elements after that i just sped up the whole thing and made it like a meme rather <laughs> But anyway, I want. I felt like after thinking about it, it it felt like it could have actually have some sort of uh, potential in the future. Because I was thinking, because uh, sub ticket isn't exactly something that we tend to see every month anymore, right? It used to be the case before when HRT was still on the helm, but now not anymore. So it's like I was thinking maybe because every single time that uh, sub ticket do appear, I tend to feel like maybe there's a, like a little bit a uh, shift in terms of like uh, what kind of uh, better characters that we can get, uh, we can get or pick from uh, the sub ticket, you know, because as time progresses, there's be more characters being released into the set uh, sub ticket pool, right? So I was thinking, why not, right? Just try to do this. I feel like this could be like a brand new segment for like explain uh, not really explaining it's more like telling my opinions i guess on what i think is like a very nice character which char character is nice to pick from whichever element in the sub ticket or whatever so yeah do let me know what you guys think in the about this this whole this whole new idea uh on upcoming sub tickets i guess or whatever do let me know what you think about this if uh if it's if you guys really really want more of this i guess i'll definitely try to do more of this in the future whenever there's a new sub ticket that appear yeah just let me know in the comments uh till next time so thank you guys so much for your time for listening to what i have to say and uh thank you and i'll see you guys on the next video on on stream Bye bye. So, if you guys are planning to sub ticket and wondering who the hell you should, you're wondering who's a good good character, right? Let me brief you down, which is like a decent character, to like decide, okay? So, okay, fire has only relatively a few. I'm just picking based on today, right? If if you guys somehow are clipping this or whatever and uh, for some reason like probably a few months down the road that's rebalanced that's probably out of proportion already so I wouldn't really consider this as a review for like all time okay so number one is Percival Percival is definitely a good candidate no matter what right he is so strong <laughs> especially in like Magna if you're relatively starting out, he's really strong because he has his own innate uh, passive to increase his multi-attack. And he also has stamina, which increases his damage even more. Which also adds uh, echo. So he has stamina and echo, which is really, really good. Especially your Magna. So sub he's one of the few very, very, very popular sub characters uh, for fire. So I don't think you can go wrong with that. If you need that kind of character with fear and double nuke kind of thing, go for it, I guess. Um, he's more like a tank guy, so I really don't think you you would really go for this. Um, Zeta is kind of like a meme right now. She's still pretty darn weak, even though she has gotten like relatively god knows how many rebalances already. Still weak. Her last also has the same problem, so I don't think you want to get any of them these guys are pretty decent they're actually not too bad for a sub, sub ticket character even though her, their attack is really really low right but they their damage their their passive their the skill wise is actually like boosts them like a lot that makes them a lot much better character 
And not to mention, I know a lot of people, and so UL, a lot of people mention that she does look like she's already going out of meta already. But I don't think she, I mean, yeah, technically speaking, she is already like phasing out of the current meta and shit. But I still think if you really want like a decent uh, balanced type of character, because she's still good. She, because she can heal, she can clear, she can give you echo, she can give you... Uh, she can buff herself to multi uh, double attack better and all that stuff. So if you're relatively starting new, she's okay. Iodos is a meme, don't bother. It's, he's really fucking hard to use. <laughs> Subasa is pretty decent too actually. Subasa's skill set is pretty decent. But he's very... he's fist based, right? He's actually pretty decent. He's a not too bad character to use. Plus he can uh, do troop. He can uh, buff his the buff the party relatively well too because of his third skill, and Ogi because his Ogi is really really nice too. So I wouldn't really say that uh, he's a bad character in any shape or form. So Subasa is actually pretty nice too in a way. He you can actually consider getting him too if you really want that kind of character because he can buff multi attack. He can give you fire attack damage to the entire party and all that shit. Subasa is nice. Subasa is good. Then Magisa is still kind of a meme actually. She's a level hundred character to be decent, but yeah, she's still kind of weak, man. <laughs> I wouldn't really consider her at all to like for sub ticket run, uh, at all. I mean, compared to the rest, I mean, yes. Percival needs to be level 100 to be good, but he's still solid regardless at level 100, right? So yeah, it's, she's she's pretty weak for a sub ticket if you really want to bump up your characters and shit. Her, the Zalf Zalf Hamenelit, yeah, whatever, flame flare potato. If you want a flare, get her. If you don't need flare, get the... just ignore her. <laughs> Long story short, that's how she is. Um... Anturia, she is a character that really wants to get hit non-stop. And if she gets hit non-stop, she can uh, get good stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's really about it. But uh, majority of the times, maybe she doesn't just get hit at all. She just, they just whiff her and shit. But she's not that easy to use. She can be usable. If you need like a certain buffer, but she needs to get hit a lot. She can summon tank, but not as well as Soshi, I would say. But yeah. Or that Algeoba. Yeah, that guy. That guy is a much better tanker. Ganda Goza. This guy though. This guy is a super nuke guy. This guy is a super nuke. For Grim? Yeah, she's probably okay for Grim. But this guy, he's a super burst mo He's a burst motherfucker, man. This guy. It's a fucking burst god. <laughs> he can burst so hard, man. And uh and fire teams if you don't like one like one turn stuff. He's really good at that. He can burst so much in like one to two turns. You should go for it if you really want like a, a burstable character. He's really good. Eliza is more like a She's more like a decent character to use for um like, if you really want to go for Ultima Fist and stuff, she's a decent character to fit in there. Along with uh, Ganda Goza and uh, Greya and shit. Or her. But yeah, she's pretty decent. I wouldn't really consider her anyway. She's decent. She's not really that great, honestly. <laughs> then, uh, Soshie. Soshie is pretty nice. Soshie is actually really nice because she's a semi tanker and a buffer. Because she can uh, langs if you get her up to level 655 or 75, I've forgotten. It turns to 60%. 60% and she can dodge counter for 3 hits after after you upgrade this. And then she can also do this but uh, she won't be able to attack. But she boosts. This buff is pretty damn good if you want to like heavily focus on your main 3 characters to like do damage and shit. So she's still very, very nice to have. She used to be like one of the core characters for Grand Order lineups before. <laughs> she used to be like one of the core characters to uh, for for Grand Order lineups before. But yeah, if you really want to 
a semi tank, or if you want like a, a character that can lag, semi lanks and uh, buffer. I feel I feel like she's a much better character to get compared to her. And Greya is also a very similar spot as uh, Eliza, but I feel like she's a lot stronger than Eliza in terms of like the Ultima Fist stuff, because she can Ogi so much stronger. All thanks to her that skill one the uh, skill one local debuff kind of thing. So, if you are going for Ultima Fist, you should prioritize on getting her first, because she's a lot. She's definitely like a. A much better character to go for in comparison to Eliza. I would definitely pick Greya and uh, Ganda Goza for, for Ultima Fist, like the main core characters to fit in an Ultima Fist fire lineup. If you're planning to go for that, go for it. I really think Greya is a really good candidate for that. Metera is so strong. <laughs> Metera is really really strong because her, her she has. If you already watched like all my previous like impressions, like say the light one, the light Christmas version, she this fire version is very similar to that Christmas version because this character, this fire version, she can also do like eighty percent worth of echoes. She can stack echoes like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have if you're running like if you're planning to run primal whatever and you don't really have like much uh, multi attack issues and you can keep relatively easy, Meta is really really strong for that. So if you're planning to go for that, I think you should go for her. Besides that, she's also very very good for like uh, Nighthound one turn stuff. She's really really good. I'm pretty sure if you've already seen me do like uh, the fire favorite uh, Guild War and stuff, you always see me using her and stuff. Because <laughs> she's really good for that one turn stuff because of her crazy, her crazy echo. So yeah, she's a very very auto mashing auto attack oriented character so she's like that if you're looking for that kind of character go for it Clarice I got nothing to say but just Dokkan I guess if you really want to Dokkan like crazy then use her I suppose but she's she's really weak compared to the other characters I've already mentioned so far and the lastly is Therese Therese is really really strong but uh I wouldn't say she's that great in Magna because Magna requires you to go NMT and stuff so she she loses her HP so it's really hard to get NMT for her and kind of stuff so she's actually really really weak when it comes to Magna but when you use like Primal and stuff Agni Grids, Therese is super strong even in today's meta she's still really really strong only for like Agni stuff I guess Okay, so yeah, that's it for fire. Okay, water. All fire. That's nothing much to say about him until today. He's still really, really good. Debuff, buffer, still top tier. If you really want that kind of character, go for it. Doesn't really matter what kind of uh, what kind of uh, proficiency he's in. And uh. Charlotte, the potato. If you want a, a sword proficiency character, you can go for her. She's fairly decent. She can langs and all that stuff. So, uh, hmm, just go for it, I guess. If you really want a sword character, she's also somewhat nice to actually um, to put her in a backline because she can actually provide you extra five percent meter because of her passive. Yes, hello. <laughs> So yeah, because she has that that five percent passive, it increases your your start off bar. It's relatively decent to have her in the backline actually because of that. Izmir, eh, she's kind of weak though in today's uh today's mana. She's okay, but she's very very slow. Kind of hard to like uh, a little still a little bit clunky I would say. They did rebalance her a little bit, but I still feel like uh her summer <laughs> her summer versions is way better compared to the normal one. But yeah, I don't think you you would want to sub ticket her. Now, Angloville. This guy is uh, definitely one of the most. I would say, currently, the top pick in the water character lineup. I like as in for sub ticket purposes. This guy is really really good. <laughs> he nukes hard. He can buffs very well to your party. What can go wrong? 
right? This guy is just really, really strong. Plus, they just fixed Angle Veil not too long ago because he had like a very weird Ogi glitch. Because for some reason, even though he got that buff, he's still hitting, he's hitting like really, really low. It's His Ogi was so screwed before, but now it's fixed already. So if you want that kind of character, go for it. He's like one of the top pick, I would say. And a subdicable water character pool. Then we have Lancelot. Lancelot is... A buffer, self-buffer-ish. Can nuke a little bit. But I feel like he's a little bit weak. Plus he is a level 100 character too. Yeah. If you really want that kind of character, by all means I guess. But he's really, really... I feel like he's a little bit weak compared to like this guy. To even Altair, Charlotte even. I think a Charlotte and Lancelot is like on the even side. Okay, chat. Hi chat. This guy, this is Twitch chat. Do you want Twitch chat in your chat, in your party? Do you want Twitch chat in, to be in your party? Get him if you want to. That's all I'm gonna say, okay. And is a very good tank, okay. Uh, Anne is a really, really good tank. She can damage really well as well. She has decent buffs too, if I recall correctly. Yeah, like this, boost to attack and when Anne has spirit up, but that's only to herself. Plus she can heal, so she's more like a very, very, uh, decent tank. And she's also another candidate that you would use. Wait, why am I on the second page? A candidate that you would use for shiny, running shiny water team. Because a lot of times she tends to be the... Because she has substitute, right? If I recall correctly. Right? Does she? No? I was quite sure she someone has that substitute effect or something. Oh yeah, because she has that. There we go. Not really substitute, but boost to hostility. Yeah. So, in a way, she can kind of... Take the white damage off you. If you actually use her. So a lot of times people tend to use her as a scapegoat and then you Europa and bring her back to life kind of thing. So yeah. The like the, the previous lineup people tend to use Anne for like the safety character in water lineup for Shiny. So if you're looking for that character, by all means. Vayne He hits really really hard at, uh if you get him to down to low HP. If not, he's just decent. He can he can debuff a little bit. Like that, I guess. He's he's very questionable right now. He's not really in a good state either at the moment. He can burst really, really well though. If you get him down to like really low HP somehow. Yeah, that's it. Lily, cute character, I guess. If you want to cute, the buffy, buff. It's a buffing character. Yeah, she's more like a buff character that shields your your party and shit. If you want that kind of character go ahead but I highly going against this because I mean I highly I go <laughs> suggesting getting her because she's she's not that great Romeo is another tanky character another tanking character can nuke really well can debuff as well if I recall correctly right no I think he, he can debuff right yeah this one water defense down yeah he can debuff as well so it's actually not too bad to have as well but uh, yeah, he's okay. He's more like a tank. So if you want another type of character to tank, by all means. But I don't think you want to get that anyway. Then we have... Okay, Silva and Ingwe, I'm just going to categorize two under one thing. They are just nukes. They are just nukes. These two are super nukes. That's it. If you want, if you want crazy nukes, get one of them. It's fine. One of them works. Kukuroks is... Uh, debuffer. Buffer type of character. She's yeah, she's a debuffer and a buffer type of character. So she can buff one other guy. So if you want to like buff your your so-called Uno or Doggo or whatever, she does work. And she is also has a very nice debuff that works really well against shiny and stuff. So she's nice. So she is uh a support character, a very heavy support character in water because she can heal, she can debuff, she can delay. But I really think like the main point of her is this Kagura thing. Affect all allies. Yeah, if so, it's like you can actually heal everyone. 
and then gives you water damage and shit. This is like the, the only really good thing about water Soshe. You want to use her Ogi and then press this skill. Because it applies to everybody instead of uh, self. So this is the one that is really really good. So uh, yeah, you can go wrong with you can heal for I think what 3000 HP or some shit. Then she can, you can get revitalized and 30% uh, echo I think. I forgot how much is it but yeah, she's okay too. So if you want that kind of character, by all means, go ahead. I don't think you can go wrong with her if you are looking for that. Caterpillar Vira. Mm. This one is very newbie friendly. If you're if you're relatively new, she's the second character you would consider besides Zioda. Because <laughs> she has a lot of nukes that can hit really, really hard and a lot of hits, which helps a lot in the early game. And yeah, that's really about it. I don't think anyone would actually consider using her besides that. <laughs> Lily Lei is uh, pretty meme right now because she only buffs like what male characters and shit. She's like a super buffer, but she's only buffing to male characters. <laughs> it's like you you will only use male characters. If you're not using male characters, she's useless. Well, she can still buff, but not as strong, right? So. But still, I wouldn't consider using her either way in today's uh, today's term. Yoda. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know who Yoda is by today, right? If if you're new and you want to get it easy, go uh, like progress easy, just get him. Fuck everything. <laughs> UL is a very very nice debuffer and buffer, because she can buff you multi attack and uh, debuff really really well. So if you're looking for that kind of uh, a character in your water lineup, go for it. I don't think you can go wrong with her. She's really, really solid. <clears throat> okay, so... Earth. Siegfried. Really good candidate, number one. Because he's a really, really solid character. Plus, uh, you would also use like Ultima and shit majority of the time. Ultima Sword. So Sieg, you can't go wrong with Siegfried at all. Gandalf is mediocre nuker, nuker burst kind of guy, but a lot of times you will only get him because of his weapon, because his weapon provides uh, this. You want to keep his weapon because of this, but that mostly applies to uh, Titan only. If you're Magna, I don't think you would use that either way, but. Yeah, he's still decent. If you want a nuke burst kind of character, yeah, get him. And Katerine. Katerine is more like a, also like a 1 to 2 turns type of character. That if you really want a burst kind of thing. Because she does help in terms of that. But she's not really really strong in terms of bursting anyway. So I wouldn't really suggest you going for her. Unless you really, really want to make like a, a gun dagger, I think. Is she a gun dagger? Oh, only gun. If you really want to get a gun, Ultima gun to work on Earth some, for some reason, then get her, I guess. But if not, she is not that great anymore. Arulu is also another character that you can get to 100. Hey. And uh, her, her, her buffs is really really nice she can she's the uh, the only character that can veil in the in earth if i recall correctly besides i mean subticable ones besides alex of course uh yeah she, her buffs is really nice but she's very um fixated to ogies only it's like you need to ogi to con you need to o ogi with her consistently to get her buffs up non-stop so yeah that's really about it um uh, razia is a tank substitute tank nuke yeah it's she's not that great honestly if you really want like another sarah type of character i guess a slightly more offensive sarah go for her <laughs> She's basically a slightly more offensive version of Sarah. I'll get to Sarah in a bit because she's also <laughs> Earth, right? This character, Melio, 
is a meme. She's a meme. Just just ignore her, she's a fucking meme. Until today she's this shit man. Just ignore her. Helly is really really nice. But the problem with her is that she must not get hit. If she gets hit, everything resets, right? So if you really want her car to deal like crazy amount of damage, she must not get hit. So that's the only problem with her. And she's another level 100 character. So if you really want that kind of uh, super DPS sir, I really think you should just go for air anyway. So yeah. Don't really bother about her. I think she's not really that great. Neemune is really good in terms of uh, having a character to sit there for a while and then you just nuke after that kind of thing. Yeah, she's that kind of character. If you really want that character, go for it. But I really suggest against getting her. She's not a good candidate at all. <laughs> uh, it's like after she does that nuke, she becomes shit. So <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah, I don't think you want to get her. Earth Vaseraga is really nice because he can nuke really really well and he can give meter to like the entire party kind of thing. So if you want the burst, he works really well with uh, what's her name? S Valentine Medusa, yeah. If you have Valentine Medusa, you can pair her with him because you can both get like, if you buff both, uh, if you manage to get both uh, the skill level tree, I mean the skill tree I think, that allows you to get the full meter because they both provide like 50 meter or something each. So if you stack both of them together, you get 100 meter and then you get like crazy amount of uh, Ogi damage with the help of, uh, what's her name, Valentine uh, Medusa because uh, the last, the last um, Earth favorite guild war this guy and Summer, Summer, Valentine Medusa was, uh, was, uh, was like core. That was like the he, the combo that they were using before, uh, like going against uh, Nightmare, ninety, ninety, I think. Yeah, I think it was ninety. Yeah, it was like Nightmare ninety. So you can just do that. You can kill it. Basically, you can kill it in like two turns, if I recall correctly. Into, you can just kill off Nightmare 90 in two turns or something like that. I think. I can't remember. I know they did that combo before. But yeah, it, besides the combo thing, he's still decent though. If you're really looking for someone that can nuke. Or give you extra meter kind of thing. If you really want, go ahead. Cagliostro is... She's very mediocre now. I wouldn't consider getting her at all. But uh, if you want a character that... Because she's a character that you must level her to 100 to be useful. So yeah, if you want a character that can de slightly do some debuff, you can. Uh, she can clear, she can buff. Yeah, if you're looking for that kind of character, she works too. Yeah, she, she buffs like multi-attack, attack defense, all that stuff. So she's okay, but you need to level her to 100. Um, Dela feel honestly, I don't think you can go wrong. She's like the best, the best um, tag team partner of Air. <laughs> She's like the best tag team partner for Air. So if you if you have Air, which I'll get over very soon because it's slightly down here. If you want a buffer for Air, by all means get get her. Or if you're using uh. What you call that? Uh, sword, Ultima Sword. She's also a viable character because she can buff your entire party with uh, skill 1 and then she can uh, do her tag team skill thingy on skill 2 and then she has a skill 3 to do like a 40% damage cut and reflect a little bit of uh, damage kind of thing. So yeah, if you want to do that, go for it. Besides that, it's Eustens. Eustens is pretty meh. Yeah, he's actually pretty meh. I don't think you want to go for that. You only want his his weapon. <laughs> yeah, you only want to get his weapon for instance. Oh yeah, besides that, De La Fil is just more like... Just more like casino chips. If you just want to get casino chips, just get her and put her in the back line and then you just get free chips. You don't have to farm in casino anymore. But yeah, for instance, you just want his Stratomizer weapon for Titan builds. 
That's really about it. The the his other variance is a lot stronger. I wouldn't really use him at all these days for Earth. Okay, air. Air is a crazy, crazy powerhouse. He's the one of the strongest DPSers in the game, I would say, like in terms of auto wise. Because he can hit so hard. <laughs> he can hit so hard. He has his own zero turns uh, enmity enabler, which also co gives him uh, enmity. And then he, if he hoagies, he has like seven turns echo. Yeah. He gains, if I recall correctly, it was seven turns. It was really, really long. He is really, really strong in like. <laughs> he is really, really strong. You don't even use his second or third skill at all. Plus he has like this, boost the double attack rate and the damage cap based on how low HP is. So it's like... Yeah, he's, he's a crazy powerhouse, man. He's a really crazy powerhouse. Especially if you're using like Akasha X. He's like, whoo! He can hit like 1.2 million autos, man. And that is without, without Shiva, by the way. That is his normal attack. 1.2 million. 1 million plus. He can hit that high. He is, whew, he is still really, really strong until today. If you're planning for like mashing autos like crazy, he is your man. Sorius is a semi tank, I think. He can tank a little bit, right? Because he can heal and uh, he has that hostility up thing and he has a lot of HP. And he has a. Uh, what? And he can heal, right? That's really about it. Yeah. And he gives stamina to himself. So. I guess he's okay. If you want Ultima Fist shit kind of thing. But eh, I wouldn't really consider him though. I feel like others is a lot better to use to combine with. Uh, to make your Earth Party. But if you so happen to get him anyway. But we are talking about which character is worth the sub ticket, right? So. It's not really worth it to get him. Ilsa is another character is not even worth talking actually. She's so fucking weak. Her Earth version is so weak. If you really want to use Ilsa, just use the Summer version. Her Summer version is way superior. <laughs> okay. Sarah. She's another scapegoat character I was talking about earlier, right? Like uh, a slightly stronger version of her is Razia. But Sarah is basically like your scapegoat. She substitutes. She increases her own defense. She has a 50% length. And she can... Uh, the more damage she takes... Like every turn, no, not more damage. Every single turn she takes, she buffs herself automatically. And it makes her slightly stronger kind of thing. And if you Ogi, she gives barrier to every other party members besides herself. Yeah, I don't think you can really go wrong with her if you really want like crazy sustain. She has quite a bit. <laughs> she has quite a bit of uh, shield stuff. <laughs> So, if you're looking for that character or any sort of guinea pig character or scapegoat, yeah, by all means get her. Because I still use her until today because she's always my... She's always the character that will eat, uh, eat that white damage from me in shiny. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yugu is kind of like a buffer though. Yugu is like, just like a buffer, but she's... Hmm... <laughs> Yeah, she's a character that, for some reason, has very high hostility, get a uh, good charge bar and stuff. But she's more like a buffer, really. She just buffs a lot. And she doesn't... Uh... What is that? Yeah, she just buffs like crazy. But Earth has so many buffers, it's like you don't even need her. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I don't think you would want to sub ticket her anyway. Because, eh, you know. Okay, but yeah, that's it for Earth. Well, that's only three elements. Holy fuck, there's so many characters to go through. <laughs> okay, I think I should start speeding it up, okay? Alright, I need to speed it up already. Because I think I'm taking way too long to like go through all the six elements. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going super speed mode right now. We're going to go speed run this thing. Uesis. Super Nuke. Works well with Siete. If you're looking for that character, take care of her. She's super awesome. Because she has Katana, Sword Proficiency. Great. Lancelot, Sword Proficiency. 
good very in very good buffer in win if you're looking for that get him petra shit birdman very nice dps but he's uh out of meta right now he's pretty meh mediocre Kamerlina, you can roll her in the beginning of the game fuck her gawain super tank you want him get him nukes really well too if you want that character get him hair potato melissa bell she nukes a lot very heavy nuke she can ogi like crazy as well if you want that kind of character she's also for sword proficiency so if you're looking for that character by all means go for it korwar out of meta get her get the fuck out of here she's useless lena top tier healer really really good in uh shiny as well so if you're looking for that get her tiamat suck ass get forget about it fuck her scat really really nice at level 100 really really nice at level 100 she can uh permanent not really permanent zero downtime uh win attack up to your entire party like he has zero downtime because it's like five turns it lasts for five turns and it has a five turns cooldown at level 100 she's a really really nice character to have too if you really want like a decent buffer she can shield her she can shield and something she can enable enmity by herself as well she can nuke so yeah she's actually decent metera super nuke she can uh, give uh, Echo. Looking for that, she's okay. Fairly decent. Fina, she's more like an Ogi base character. If you manage to triple attack her at least three times, and then, yeah, she's okay. Her recent rebalance made her slightly better. But she's kind of like on a mediocre side of character. Anriet is a really, really nice character. Today, because of her recent rebalance, she can debuff, she can buff, and she can du double strike someone. Such a good uh, skill set. She ogies. Her ogi allows her to sleep a certain target, uh, a certain target, right? Based on who you target. Really good. She's really good in Alex. Uh, Selfira is also another very very nice buffer. But I don't think you really want to go for her if you really want like a top tier buffer. If you really want a top tier buffer, you have uh, Kokoro, right? <laughs> Alright, I told you guys, you're speed running this. Okay, that's it for win. Okay, that's it for win. Light. Um, Jan, solo content only. If you want to debuff and shit, go for her. She's great. Albert. She's he's, he's out of meta for like 2 years now Waiting for his buff until today So fuck him Serial still really really good today He's like a mini song buffer And the, yeah He's a mini song buffer He's like a smaller version of song Because of his ogi is very similar to song And he's, he's, his ogi somehow stacks with songs For some reason But yeah he's really good I don't think you can go wrong with him If you really want a sword based character in light Fairy Kind of out of meta already. He, she's only there for assault time stuff, nuking base stuff. That's really about it. Bartoda super tank. If you're looking for a super tank, go for him. Rosamia is like MET tank. Kind of a, like a meme. Silva, she can. If you're using Akasha gun, go for her. If not, fuck her. Delafil. Fuck her, she's useless. Sarunan, fuck him, she's useless. Actually, no, he's a uh, very nice. <laughs> At level hundred, he's actually very nice. Um, um, support. <laughs> I was looking for that word. He's a really good support healer ish at level 100 yeah she can nukes. She's very similar as a uh, water version, whatever. Juliet, out of meta. Fuck her, she's useless. Um, uh, light Zoe, super top tier. Get her. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore what I say for the other characters, just get her. If you haven't gotten her yet, get her. <laughs> but she's really good because she, she can buff really well. She can buff herself. She can also tank. She has like almost everything. But you only need... The only downside for her is that you, you need your other characters to buff as well. So she's relatively slow in that regard. So you need to keep that in mind. Robomi, burst heavy character. You're looking for that, get her. Same goes for Cla Dorothy and Claudia. The maids, same thing. This too, burst heavy character. The f only applies for the first few turns. If you're looking for that character, you just get either one of them. Both of them works. Sophia, fucking meme. Get the fuck out of here. Clarice, same goes. 
uh, burst heavy character. She has really nice nukes. Few turns type of character. If you're looking for her, get her. Amir, very, very nice buffer. She has a very nice buff. And she can also DPS really, really well for herself as well. Because uh, she got recently rebalanced. That made her a lot more viable. Her multi-attack is a lot better now. Because uh, it's slightly higher now, I think. It gives uh, the meat. She also provides, like, I think, if I recall correctly, her, her uplift buff is the highest in the game. As in, for, like, the end, that applies to the entire party thing. If I recall cor correctly, Amira is the highest for that regard. So, yeah. Okay, so that's it for light, okay? I told you guys, we're speedrunning this, okay? I'm spending, like, almost 40 minutes on this already. <laughs> Vaseraga Dark is very nuke, nuking type of character. So if you're looking for like a, a character to go through, like say for example, Light Trial, he's your man. Vera. If you're looking for a veil, get her. Else, fuck her. She's useless. Beatrix, she's usable everywhere right now ever since her change. Her change. She's really, really strong. I don't think I can go wrong here. John, Dark John, you will use her for white memes because of her weapon. Besides that, uh, she's really, really strong regardless because she's... Her character is really strong, but she's very... She's kind of like an amity-based character, but uh, not exactly, even though if you're not doing that, she's still really strong. Her debuff is really strong. If you're looking for that, I don't think you can go wrong. You you can get two things out of her. her the good weapon her and her. Vampy sucks. Get the fuck out of here. Right? Pretty shit as well. Get him out of here. Forte. She used to be good. But she's so slow. And she's useless now. So get her out of here. Zetas. Mediocre. I wouldn't say as anything much about her either. So get her out of here. Azazel is super strong. Azazel is really, really strong looking character. Really, really strong. He can hit like what? 3.5 3, 3 to 4 million Ogis. Yeah, if you're looking for a mechanic, one turn memes, he's really strong as well. But if you really want to use him in a, the the fist lineup, he's also really, really good. He's really strong. Lady Grey, very similar thoughts as Vasiraga, honestly. Same thing. She's, a, she's in the same spot as uh, Vasiraga. <laughs> Pedro Wolf. Feather Wolf and Lolly. What can go wrong, right? <laughs> make sure make make sure you when you're using her, make sure nobody knows that you're using her, okay? It's very dangerous to use her in public. I want you, chat. Okay? <laughs> but besides that, <laughs> she's really strong in the 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 Ultima Fist lineup because she has Ultima Fist and Akasha X because she has confirmed triple attacks. Her the self skill 2 buff is really really strong. So if you're really looking for that kind of uh, character, I'm also considering getting her if you're wondering. So she's really really good in that regard. So if you're looking for that character, by all means, she's definitely a worth to subticket. Saranan used to be a super meme, now is a lesser meme. So fuck him. This Gandalf Potato, fuck him, he's also a meme. Ka Dark Kaglistro is a buffer, debuffer kind of character. She's kind of shit actually, so fuck her. Freezy is also another meme character, but she somehow can look like crazy. But she's a meme anyway, so fuck her. Cerberus is a super debuffer. If you're looking for a super debuffer, go for her. Lunalu, top tier. Yeah, man. Lunalu is a fucking top tier character, dude. Because you can copy Ground Zero. 100% by the way. Hey. If you want that, go for it. It's more like... She's top tier in terms of like... Like Akaram shit, okay? <laughs> she's super... She's super awesome in the, the white light... White damage, plane damage meta thing. If you're going for... She's great. If you really want that... If you want a super leeching team... Bad. Get that shit, man. Shit. <laughs> yeah, just get her if you if you want you want top tier leeching team. <laughs> um, okay, Naru. 
really really strong burst heavy character because she has ODA and all that stuff but she's a little bit slow because she has to consistently consistently switch her goddamn sword, her stance non-stop kind of thing yeah that's it but she's really burst heavy because she can consistently ODA and stuff so she can buff herself as well if you're looking for that kind of character I think she's okay okay of a DPSer to consider as well Nicholas Tank that's it. If you're looking for another tank in dark character, I honestly don't don't know why if you're, you're looking for a tank in dark. Yeah, I... <laughs> he's kind of like a me, man. It, honestly, just ignore him. <laughs> so, in short, okay. So, in short, let's just go through everyone again. The, old, the ones that is worth to ticket in... Uh, I would say, like... Okay, so in fire... Percival, Lancelot is decent, Ruel, uh, Subasa, uh, Therese, Metera, Greya, Soche, I guess, and Gandagoza. Only these few are the only ones that are somewhat okay. The highest side is, I'm pretty sure you can just rewind the video or something. Yes, we are actually, we're actually in YouTube for some reason. <laughs> okay. Water, Altair, Potato, Anglovale, Chat. No, not obviously not Ch <laughs> Uh UL, Yoda, uh, Lady Caterpillar, Soshie, and not not Soshie, Ingwei, and Silva. Kukurox, too, I guess. Yeah, so those are a few decent ones. Earth, oops. Earth, so Siegfried. Now nah, we don't really consider Siegfried, Arulu, uh, Earth, Asiraga, Sarah, Air, Delafield. And then we have Win, Uesis, Lancelot, Birdman, Gawain, Hair Potato, Lena, uh, Enriet, Metera, Scat. Well, that's a lot of characters now that I think about it. Okay, so light is Jan, Seruel, Fairy, Silva, uh, Amira, Clarice, and Zoe. This two is still okay, but nah. Then dark is Beatrix, Dark Jan, uh, Azazel, Naru, Lunalu. And yeah, Pedal Wolf and Lolly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it. That's all the characters. Holy shit, that took almost one hour. <laughs> Alright, you want summons? Okay. Let's let's speed run summons. Okay? This is a super speed run, okay? Satan's can go suck a wiener, Makula suck a wiener, Vortex Dragon can suck a wiener, Olivia is decent, Glarny can go suck a wiener, Quasacult can suck a wiener, Lich can go suck a wiener, Bale can suck a wiener, Siren can suck a wiener, Athena is pretty nice, Garuda can suck a wiener, Neptune, Twin Elements, Medusa, Satyr, Nataku, Cybel, Oceanus, and Apollo can go suck a wiener, Odin is pretty damn nice. <laughs> Rose Queen is okay. <laughs> Morigna, Prometheus, Gilgamesh, Anubis, and Hector, Kaong can't go wrong with them because they're SSR bunkles. Bonito, the fuck you want me to uh, explain about Bonito? Do you still need me to explain about Bonito in 2019? Seth Lens, Tazcat can go suck a wiener. Setech can go suck a wiener. Typhoon, Thor is top tier. Nak can go suck a wiener. Aphrodite can suck a wiener. Garuda, Zhao Shen. Ankusa, Snow White, Andra Malalak, can go suck a wiener. <laughs> Sukuyomi can go suck a wiener. Freya is godlike. Gorilla is godlike because uu a a. Hamza can, can go suck a wiener as well. Ana can go suck a wiener too. Unless you somehow need a budget Grimnir or some shit. Yeah. There you go. See? Speedrun, boys. <laughs> <laughs> See speed run. There you go. Weapon review. Oh my god. 
Alright, why not, right? We already do- Okay, I'll just give it to you guys. Durandal. Durandal. I need a, I need a new I need a new term for this. Okay. I will label them as a Pepega level, okay? It's between 1 to 10. This is a Pepega level 1 to 10, okay chat? This is a Pepega level tier, okay? This is I will just level I'll label them between 1 to 10. 10 is the highest of the Pepega, okay? This is just a Pepega ranking system. Highest is the 10, meaning like super Pepega, man, okay? That's how it is, okay? Lowest meaning is like the, the not so Pepega, which you... Just take it for what you think it is, okay? Durandal is... Durandal is 4. Joyous is 10. This is... This is 8. This is 10. This is 1. This is 1. This is... 10, this is 10, this is 10, this is 10. <laughs> 10, 10, 1, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, <laughs> 10, 10. Yeah, there you go. See, super speed run. There you go, boys. <laughs> See, super Pepega runs, boys. See, this is what he call a Pepega. <laughs> <laughs> SR and R weapons? Okay, SR and R weapons are all 10s, okay? Oh no, they're not 10s, they're fucking 100s. They're 100s out of 10. Super beyond galaxy tier-ish Pepega. That's how they are, that's how much they are, okay? <laughs> okay, there you go. Now go decide which you want to sub ticket. <laughs>